Hi, it's Laurie from Down Under with my very vintage number 19 journal. And this has got a hardcover. It's one signature and it's tied with uh, some vintage lace. Just undo that so I can show you the, what's on the front. So we have uh, a Tim Holtz uh, See the World embellishment and it's on a ball chain and on a small bulldog clip. These ladies are going travelling. These are Tim Holtz ladies. Uh, ticket booth and some luggage. And it has a tag that uh, comes out and a little ticket with a small Tim Holtz bulldog clip on there as well. Just pops back in there. So here we have um, an image that just pops out there. It does pop out. <laughs> And uh, there's some tape here, some washi tape with some uh, vintage, with a vintage look. And the uh, tea dyed pages have been gessoed and with some uh, stamping on there. There's a little tag here. She's so cute, this little girl. These, um, these photo images are all printed on uh, photo paper, so it just gives that more authentic look. Here's another one here, and inside is a very vintage photo. in a glassine bag, some lace on this page, and lots of writing space in there. There's another vintage lady with some um, tape on there. And a little pocket that you can put something special in there. It's got a little dangle bow on there and a um, a pin. It says so sweet. Another little envelope here uh, that has got a tag in a little note inside. And here's a. A fold up piece with uh, an old piece of doily and uh, a, a pin there and a little key. And once again, more writing space. And that just pops back on there. It's another tag with a lady image. A little glassine bag here with a little tag and some muslin. Some lace down the side, and this says journal, gives the uh, definition of a journal. Paper doily. Another envelope. This is a this is a handmade envelope, and I've used some a napkin that I've glued on there, and stamp and some old lace, lots of lace, some lace on the back as well with some muslin glued on. And another glassine bag with a little tag. Another little envelope. This one doesn't have a 
a card in it, but you could put something in there. Once again, done with um, uh, glued some napkin, some of a napkin on there. There's another envelope. Got some writing on there. It's a large tag. And uh, I thought because these were this was the alphabet, um, I might she sort of tend this is a Tim Holtz lady, it looks like she might be a an old teacher mom from way back when. So I put her on there and um, some lace at the top. And here's another little glassine bag with a little pull-out and some boys there. Looks like they're singing. So cute. Pops back in there. And another glassine bag with um, this one's got a little bit of a doily on there and a bulb pin and a key. That's another image of a key there. And this one is a postcard, and I've just put a metal embellishment corner piece up the top there. They never want to go back in, do they? But they do. And this one here, I've just um, I've stitched some um, calico piece together, and this is some um, oh, burlap, and another piece that I've stitched on as well that I'd stamped, and uh, and then tea dyed. It's just, it's just an interesting piece that goes in there. It's another tag here. It's, uh, it's a sort of like a double tag and a butterfly that I made with some lace down the side. And that's the other side to the... There's another old image there. I love those images. I love anything vintage, anything old. Another little tag there. And this is it's another envelope and with a little tag inside that you can write on the back to if you wish. That, that's got a bit of muslin there on the side. And it just sits there. And that's the last page. So I'll put all the details where you can find this in my Etsy store. And thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.